I originally got in to becoming a doula because I wanted to save people, and that's not what it's about. I actually found an amazing um, doula certification company that that uh, has taught me a lot. Has taught me a lot. Um, about respecting choice, supporting all births, being non-judgmental, um, basically being able to provide support for any situation, for any person, um, any family dynamic. It's totally tailored to their needs. So essentially, if they come to me and they want to attempt a natural vaginal birth, we will strive for that. We'll figure out what works for them. Um, there's different comfort measures. There's different things that we can do to help them achieve that goal. If they come to me and they say, I don't really care about having a natural birth, I would not object to an epidural, then there's things that we can also do for that. That might be more of a, um, a verbal support situation where you're there to help them in any way that they need, like positioning, um, I've given great foot rubs <laughs> for, for moms with epidurals. And honestly, um, I also support cesarean births because they're no different. They need supports as well. Um, so we would go over like the process if they're unaware of how that works or if they're a second time cesarean mom, they know what's going to happen. Um, but we, we support whatever choices they need to make. We help them envision the birth that they want and that they feel that they need. We do um, a prenatal visit where we discuss their desires for their birth, um, what goals they'd like to achieve in their birth. So for example, if they'd like to achieve um, unmedicated up to a certain point, then we'll go over what would help them. Um, so basically, you know, the comfort measures that I had mentioned, um, just educating them on different interventions, if that's what they want. Um, like I said, it's completely tailored to what they, they want. I know we have a lot of amazing doctors and midwives here. Um, a lot of them cannot be with you 24-7, but a doula is not going to leave. So from the minute that you call us to come to your side, we will be there. So you know, if you have a question about something, you need to talk something through about a decision that you need to make, we're there. Um, sometimes you literally are just sitting there making sure that the baby's heart rate doesn't go too low and you're just monitoring things. It's about having the comfort of support that doesn't go, like it, we're always there. About 50 miles from here is my typical range. Um, I am branching out a little bit. I'm actually trying to hire other doulas as an agency um, so that I can cover more of West Virginia. Um, that's why I kind of kept it vague with the name Mountain State Maternity. Um, we also serve into like the Garrett County, Maryland area and um, Southern Pennsylvania. We have different packages. Um, we try to make sure that there's something available for everyone. So even if they can't can't afford like full doula support, um, I can teach them comfort measures that their partner can help them with, uh, just so they know what to expect, you know, they have a vision in mind of what they want their birth to be. Um, so pricing does vary um, based on the package that you, you support or you buy. Um, we have three packages currently. We also do placenta encapsulation. We'll also be offering postpartum support. Um, you know, there's no real way to fully describe what a postpartum doula can do for you. Um, it's peace of mind, honestly. Um, you know, if you need a nap, you can call us. Like, we do four hour um, shifts for postpartum. You know, sometimes that's what you need to feel better about your day or, you know, your week even. My ultimate goal is to make this agency something that is like a one stop for women. So, um, you know, maternity needs and not just maternity, women in general, their families, their partners. So we're going to be trying to offer packages that also have birth photography because that's something that people are interested in these days, um, but it's not widely known about. They don't know who does it. Um, they don't know their prices, they don't know where to find them. 
Um, so we want to be able to have that available. Um, we want to contract out like massage therapists. Um, we want to be able to know the resources in the area. Um, so if um, a woman comes in and she needs a chiropractic um, adjustment, um, there's a certain technique that you use with pregnant women. So they need to know who to go to um, to seek that care. So um, having a resource base is important to us as well. Um, we're going to be offering the postpartum care um, and we're also going to be doing meal plans and meal preparation as just a, a package on its own um, because you might not want somebody to come in and help take care of you or your kids but you might want someone to come and cook for you. Home cooked meals, you know, instead of eating out. Um, like I said, we also offer the placenta encapsulation. Um, we're going to be adding belly casting. And we'd like to also um, be able to offer um, like event planning for the maternity period, like um, to help the person who's going to be throwing the baby shower, or um, the meet the baby events, or you know, uh, blessing ways. Uh, mother blessings are actually what you should call them, mother's blessings. Um, so we have big plans.